So autism masking is basically hiding themselves in a way. They're trying to seem more neurotypical or, or like more similar to the neurotypical peers. So they're reducing those behaviors that would at first glance oust them as being neurodivergent, which is a little, it's a little concerning for me and a little sad that they have to resort to that type of survival mechanism. But I feel like in society in general, um, the way that we're socialized as humans is like, you know, we don't want to stand out for a bad reason or not bad rather, but we don't want to stand out for a reason where people are going to, you know, label us as quote unquote weird or strange mm -hmm. and people that adapted to their environment to survive and not um, call attention to themselves in a negative way. So I feel like masking is one of those behaviors that have been learned, but for people on the spectrum, it's more intrinsic because they're trying to fit into, you know, neurotypical society. So. so one of the articles that I read was on Healthline and it's called Autism Masking to Blend or Not to Blend. So one of the reasons that I feel like females on the spectrum camouflage more than the males is because the way that women are socialized and the way that, and this is like speaking from experience based on my experiences as a young child, girls, small girls are still more bullied than other groups, right? So girls are more likely to gang up on each other and be mean to each other at a at a at a younger age. So I feel like autistic women autistic women will more most likely try to fit in more and do more things to as I was saying, women are socialized to existing groups and when a woman or a female or a girl is not behaving according to typical behaviors for the social group, they are bullied in a very severe way. And I'm speaking from experience because this is something that I experienced as a kid. I never wanted to be one of those kids that were being picked on by the group of girls, the mean group of girls, like the, the ones that are the cool bunch. So I used to adjust my behavior a lot to be able to camouflage and blend in to the social situation at school. Um, I remember one girl um, was bullied because she used to eat her boogers or whatever. And it was just relentless. And it was the whole group of them um, constantly going after this little girl and bothering her. So thinking about that situation from when I was growing up, I could see why women who are on the spectrum or girls that are on the spectrum would report camouflaging more to be able to fit in in the long run. Hola, comadres. I would like to formally extend an invitation to our first Comadre Happy Hour of 2023, which will take place on Friday, January 6th from 5 to 8 p.m. at Sujo Gastro Fusion in the Bronx. Good news, there is parking available. Make sure to click the Eventbrite link in the show notes to secure your ticket. Hope to see you all there. Bye.